Hey, it's Holly and welcome to Live in a Country. Today we're gonna be doing an extreme wall makeover. This is the before and this is the after. And I'm so thrilled to share with you all the last 10 months of this journey. So let's get started. We are starting off this DIY project with removing the carpet from our living room area. Now we decided to continue our life proof flooring that we got from Home Depot into the living room because this is an open concept home and it felt a little boxed off with the carpet as well as the kitchen bar area with the carpet just wasn't uh, wasn't comfortable looking, it kind of looked silly, so we decided the hardwood floor would look great against that as well as against the fireplace. So that's why we ended up doing that. And our living room actually isn't very large, although it looks very large in this scene right here. Um, so it was really affordable. I believe it was under $400 to do um, the flooring in just this area, which was absolutely great. Here's a great before shot. I love a great before shot of what the wall looked like. And now we're bringing in our fireplace insert. Now this is a seven foot fireplace insert. Um, we got this from Modern Blaze and um, I'll put a coupon code down below. We did a full video on it quite a few months ago. Um, I think it was back in February and we absolutely love it still so much. And so we'll tell you a little bit about um, the size of our fireplace that we decided to build a little bit later. But right here we're cleaning and we like to get the kids involved with cleaning up things and doing the DIY projects, even if it's just for a few minutes before they go and play and do their thing. And that way they feel a little bit of accomplishment and like they help with the project. So here my husband and I were just kind of doing some measurements, figuring out how big we wanted the fireplace. And we ended up figuring out that we wanted it to be 10 feet in length and that's because the fireplace is seven feet and then we can have a foot and a half on each side. So here, my husband is playing with the two by fours, trying to figure out how much we want it off of the ground and we ended up deciding we wanted it to be two feet above the ground. We felt like that had a very beautiful look and we looked the way it looked. Now when it came to designing and figuring out what we wanted this wall to completely look like, this was the drawing that we came up with for complete inspiration. Now we originally in the house wanted to do some built-ins um, that were curved on the top, but it just wasn't doable. Um, 
at this stage of our DIYs as well as our budget. So this is what we came up with and we are really, really happy with the way it turned out. Now we're adding the fireplace insert, which was super, super simple, and it plugs right into the wall, which is absolutely amazing. And I can't wait for you guys to see what all the features it has in it. It has so many different flame settings, so many different um, designs that you could do with the logs, and I just absolutely love it. It also has a heat feature. Um, we don't use that because it doesn't get cold enough where we are. We already have a system for that, um, but we definitely love the cozy feels. Now, we do have the TV up mounted just to see what it would look like and you guys will see later on in this video we actually got a different tv we got the samsung tv um, with the beautiful frame it's by this company called deco tv and i'll share a little bit about them later um, but it definitely makes it feel more like a, a photo frame with a beautiful piece of art instead of a bulky tv above this gorgeous fireplace because to me the TV above definitely looks like a eyesore. Now we're working on the second half of the fireplace and I kind of just was my husband's little helper for this, not doing too much, just making sure he kept safe and um, honestly this took him no time at all which was absolutely amazing. Now it's time to shiplap and we have done so many different shiplap projects and we always keep our little end pieces. Um, all the scrap wood and honestly this came in handy so so much we were able to do a large majority of this fireplace um, for no extra cost at all because um, our fireplace was so thin so that was a big benefit especially with the lumber prices going significantly up while we were doing this project and then we ended up having to travel about an hour away to another Home Depot to get the remainder of the shiplap for this project, which wasn't a problem. We made a fun trip out of it, but typically we like to get our shiplap at um, our lumber store in the damaged wood section, whether it's chipped on a little end or something like that. Sometimes they'll discount it up to 70% off if it's already in that um, discounted lumber section and getting one or two every time you go when they do have it of course really really adds up with that saving cost and then on the bottom portion uh, around the fireplace we are doing this really cool um, thin brick and it's called old mill brick I'll link them down below um, really really cool product very expensive product um, we ordered this from homedepot.com and it took about I think it was a week or two to get here and this is the Mount Rushmore um, style. It's the most popular style. We bought five boxes. It was really expensive. And we ended up only using three and a half, which was great. I could return the other one. Um, so it saved a little money there. I definitely do not regret adding the brick around the fireplace. It gave it a super unique look and really, really added some character to our home. So it's probably one of those projects that my mind will probably never change with. I absolutely love the way it looks.
already packing. Come with me. I'm not really Now that the ship lap is fully accomplished, we are going to get started on the process of installing this brick. Now I did do a full dedicated video sharing how we did just this brick area. I feel like it's a very beneficial video to watch if you're looking at doing this. And if you have done tile work before, like in the bathroom or anything like that, this is so much easier, so, so much easier and a lot of fun to do. I would say very therapeutic. So I really enjoyed doing this with my husband. So I'll link that down below if you guys wanna check it out. If you see another video where we're sharing the DIY fireplace, that is not a full video. It's a full video on the, the fireplace, but this video is a full video on the whole entire wall. So I feel like this one is going to be uh, even better than that one. I'll link that down below if you guys wanna check it out, but I am absolutely obsessed with seeing how the whole wall just was a complete transformation. Not looking back. Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for, oh, yeah. take my hand, we'll make it somehow, we can't miss out. Okay, I am super obsessed with how this brick turned out. My mind is still absolutely blown away by how it looks, even um, it being 10 months since it's been up. Now my husband is going to be making our DIY mantle. You guys, this costs us $30 to do, and we have a whole dedicated video on how my husband has done multiple beams that are exactly like this in our home. So if you guys wanna watch those too, I will link those down below. Summertime And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in your sweet Okay, so my husband is gonna come in and out. He's working on the board and batten right behind here, but I wanted to share with you guys a home decor package that I got in a few days ago, and I thought it'd be fun to unbox it with you all. And it is from a shop called 509 Farmhouse, and they sell home decor, but they also do these monthly boxes. This is the July box, and I thought it'd be fun to open it up with you guys. It's gonna get a little noisy here. He's using um, the miter saw. 
but I thought it'd be fun to open it with you guys. They do such a awesome job with decorating these boxes. And when you open it up, there's like this cute little American flag to be darling in a little mason jar right here. So you guys can see that. So when you open it up, it has this little chart so that you can know all the prices and it kind of shares with you a little bit about the savings of the box. So I'm going to save this for after the box because I don't want to spoil what's in here, but I'm going to take everything out, share it with you guys, um, and I'm excited to see what's inside. So here's the first thing we got in here. Looks like it is a tea towel. Inside there's something else. We'll see what that is in a minute. Oh, this is cute. We have a Creative & Coa, really cute home style cooking menu tea towel. That's really cute. Really thick daily specials and it's just a menu. That's really darling. Really cute over a kitchen sink, I like that. Okay, next it looks like it's gonna be like a fruit canister. Right here. Isn't that darling? Super cute. Okay. Look how cute that little sticker is, that's darling. Here's Jason working back there. Okay, next we have this canister. I just, I the lids in here as well. And this is really cute. Cute for so many different things in the kitchen or anywhere in your house. Liberty Farm Country Life, that's really dark. Next we have this really cute milk bottle crate and I love it. It's got that ticking stripe look, which you guys know I love. It's on my curtains, it's on, um, excuse me, my blinds and I just love it. My pillows are like that. Um, so is my bed spread. So I love this, this is so cute. I actually have a lot of milk jars too that will go perfect in here. There are quite a few things in this box. I feel like more than normal is pretty cool. How cute, we've got a little, is this a cowbell? A little dinner bell? That's cool. I have this um, really cute kitchen tray that I have out on my kitchen, obviously. And I've got all my little accessories that I use all, every day. So this would be perfect in there, I really like this. So next we have a tobacco basket. And this is really cute if you like to layer your home decor. I think I'm gonna put this in either my kitchen or maybe, yeah, my kitchen. I'm definitely gonna put this in my kitchen over by my coffee maker, but this is really, really cute. Um, I do have a discount code. I can't remember what it is, but I'll put it in the description box below. You guys wanna check out this really cute small shop, and I am going to go ahead and help my hubby now. And we're gonna continue um, doing this DIY project and hopefully get all of my painting done today. Now the painting of our fireplace has begun. I didn't film the process of us getting the board and batten installed below the fireplace, but I do have a video where I share how we did the DIY board and batten to the left where the window is, um, that large window to the left side of my husband. Now I personally think it's super therapeutic to watch anything in a time lapse form, so that's what I ended up doing. So I'm going to add music only to the time lapse of my husband painting the fireplace um, because I love it and I want to watch it too. So let me know if you guys like time lapse videos too.
husband's doing a little bit of touch-up paint on the walls, on the areas that got dinked up a little bit. And in our house, for some reason, every wall just seems to get damaged and dinked up. I don't know if it's our paint, I don't know if it's the texture on our walls, or the finish of the paint. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have this problem too. Maybe we're just too rough on our house and our kids are too rough. I don't know. But I decided to clean up just a little bit because the floor was driving me crazy. And now my husband is installing the shelves back on the wall. And I honestly love these shelves. We originally wanted to do built-ins in this area and it was just way too expensive for us to DIY it. And so this was a really affordable option. And we're still trying to figure out even to this day what we want to do on the bottom of it. Um, a lot of people had commented on our last video that cabinets below would look cute, but we have this beautiful board and batten. So we don't know if we want to do that, if we want to add little poops, but for now we have our kids' little um, table that they bring out when they eat their little lunch and I let them watch a little cartoon. So for now that's what it's going to look like, um, but hopefully in the future we can figure out something that looks really, really cute. Now I'm adding my sign back up, which I'm obsessed with. I got it from Walls of Wisdom and I love it. And now my husband's just simply adding the mantle to our fireplace, which I feel like just screams the cozy feels. This is a little shot of what it's looking like. Now we're gonna decorate this area. Hey, Mom. Hey! <laughs> so you might be hearing my little kids in the background throughout this voiceover, but that is mom life, and this is the only time I can get my voiceovers done. But we're going to start decorating this fireplace with the Samsung Frame TV. We purchased this from Costco, and a week after we bought it, week and a half, it went on sale for $350, $400 off. So we actually got reimbursed um, that money on our credit card, which was absolutely amazing. So we like this TV because we can use the HBO Max app. Um, on the TVs because we have such older TVs, um, you can't do all those features. And so we were really excited about that. There's a lot of reasons why we were excited about this. The quality is amazing, but also it's the frame. So it looks like a piece of artwork. And um, I think it absolutely looks gorgeous. I love it. Um, I felt like the TV above the fireplace kind of made it look kind of not tacky, but it made it look less, less of the focus on the fireplace and um, the TV kind of ruined it for me. So with the frame TV, it just looks like a piece of art which I'm obsessed with. And we actually went with a Etsy shop. I'll link them down below. Um, but they have this beautiful poppy print that was absolutely gorgeous. You'll see it in the thumbnail. And so it was a few bucks to support that small business. And so I went ahead and purchased the rights uh, to use that on my Samsung frame TV which is what it's meant for. And I think it personally turned out amazing. So what I'm putting together here is called the Deco Frame TV. They're also a small business and they actually gave me a coupon code, which is awesome. And I absolutely love this gold frame. It just makes it look like even more of a piece of art. And so that was another reason I wanted the Samsung Frame TV because I love supporting small businesses and this was the way to do so. Now we're gonna be decorating the two sides of the fireplace and this is probably my favorite part. I love decorating. I will have to say I definitely don't think I am the best or even good at it but I actually really enjoy doing it so I guess practice will make perfect and a lot of the things that I got for these sides I already had but most of them are from the Antique Farmhouse, Decor Steels, um, some of them are antiques as well as Hobby Lobby and um, my other place, my go-to place is Target too. Here is the final look of what our DIY extreme wall makeover looks like. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love if you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of our other videos and I will see you guys later. Bye!